Hello, Dr. Berg here. In this video, we're going to talk about keto and dairy. Okay, can you do dairy on a keto? Now, in this video, I'm not going to talk about lactose intolerant or allergies to milk or casein, that's the protein in milk. I'm mainly going to talk about should you do dairy on a ketogenic diet or not. First, let's talk about the yogurt, okay? Fat-free uh, yogurt with fruit, so-called fruit, healthy, which usually it's like not just fruit, it's like the, um, the jelly of the fruit and all the sugar, and sometimes it's not even fruit at all, it's kind of artificial flavoring. It's 47 grams of sugar. That's like drinking a soda. That's a lot of sugar. Fat-free plain is 19 grams of sugar. That's incredible. Fat-free Greek is 9 grams, so that's a little bit better, but it's still too high. And this is per 8 ounces, okay? 8 ounces, so it's a cup. Um, whole milk plain is 11 grams of sugar. That's still too high. But look at fat-free plain versus whole milk plain. Apparently, the fat-free is higher in, in sugars. See, I'm not even looking at the carbohydrates. I'm looking just on sugar. So, yeah, so that's interesting. So whole milk uh, plain is better than the fat-free plain. Fat-free vanilla is 34 grams of sugar way too high. Goat's milk kefir is seven grams. So if you were forced to consume some type of yogurt or kefir, obviously this would be the best. This is the second best, okay? If you were at gunpoint and you had to eat it, right? Okay, look at this blueberry kefir, 20 grams. Wow. Low-fat plain kefir still has 12 grams of sugar. Low-fat plain kefir, 11 grams of sugar. This is lactose-free. And I don't understand why it's high in sugar, but because lactose is the sugar. So I don't, I don't understand that, but it's still, it's way too high. So that's yogurt. So do you want to do yogurt on a keto? The answer is no, I'm sorry. Okay, now let's get to milk. 2% milk is 12 grams of sugar per cup. Okay, a cup is not that big. That's too high. Half and half for your coffee, 0.36 grams. So that's less than a gram. And whole, whole cream, like whipping cream, is 0.1. So if you were to use cream in your coffee, go with the whole milk, but still half and half is not that bad. Okay, so can you do these? Yes. I would get organic and try to get grass-fed if possible. And this one is a no. Now, what if you do just a little bit of milk? Okay, that's fine, but not a lot of milk, okay? It's just going to blow you out of ketosis. Let's talk about cheese. Now, when you have cheese, you have this fermentation product that you have these bacteria that are eating up the milk sugar. And a lot of that lactose is being lost with the, uh, the whey, the protein part, um, as it's coming out of the cheese in the making of cheese as well. But check this out. Cream cheese is less than one, one gram. It's 0.45 grams per cup. That's pretty good. So cream cheese is totally fine. Pepper jack is zero grams of sugar. Awesome. Cheddar is zero grams. In fact, the more aged a cheese is, the better, the less sugar it has. Mozzarella, 1.4 grams of sugar per cup. Still not bad, has a little bit more. But look at this, processed cheese. Processed cheese, you know those little individual wrapped cheese that most people consume? Probably Velveeta and the other processed cheese that you would buy that everyone's eating and lunch and the whole thing. 19 grams of sugar. 19 grams of sugar for processed cheese. That is like way over the top. Cottage cheese is six grams. Wow, that's a, that's a good amount of sugar. So, is this a yes or no? These are a yes. These are probably a no. Probably small amounts, but this one's definitely a big fat no. Okay, now you might be allergic to cheese because of the casein, the allergy, that's a separate deal. You might be lactose intolerant, that's a separate deal. But when you get consume um, cheese, grass-fed organic would be the ideal scene, okay? Thanks for watching.
Hi guys. Hey, listen, I created a pretty amazing evaluation quiz down below that actually analyzes your symptoms to find the cause, the root cause of all of your symptoms, the most likely cause. So take the quiz now and we'll send you a report.